A 93 year old retired mechanical engineer is using his talents in the music world. Our Jason Maxwell explains how in today's Through the Lens. So we're here to talk about uh, one of our residents, Ben Evans, Harvard educated, who found a hobby along the way. That's in tune now. That he really, really enjoyed, and it's making violins. They have a fine tuner here, which I can adjust. He wasn't taught, he taught himself how to make a violin. My uh, mother-in-law had a fiddle on the, on, her, like, on the wall, and she was about ready to put ivy in it to make a decoration out of it. And I said, cool, can I fix that thing up? She said, well, sure, you know. So I repaired that thing, got it going. It was an old, old fiddle, mm -hmm. got it going. And then I started fixing the violins for other people. Like the ones behind me are all restored violins. And people would give me these things. And sometimes they give them back and sometimes they didn't want them back. So those are the ones I got now here. When I was a kid, I didn't play anything, not even a piano or anything. But uh, later on, I just got to, into music and like to play it, you know. He'll repair violins um, now and then, uh, just for fun. The top plate is made out of spruce. And you start with a nice chunk of spruce about that thick, a couple inches thick, and it's carved to that shape. And normally you have a template, so you carve it, you put a thing down, you see, for this different uh, whole thing. Mm -hmm. And then the... It's the same thing with the bottom. The bottom, though, is maple. You can see what their true love is. And so their true love of, here are things that I get to choose to do. That's pretty good. A little bit low. Not bad. It's a piece of wood. And that's, you know, it's hard to get the sound out of a wood with strings on it. It's an ancient, ancient instrument, quite old. And they're made, they're pretty simple. It takes two, two things to make them, patience and time. <laughs>